YouTube. This is Lisa with Lisa Haas Custom Sewing here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Today we're going to talk about markings uh, or otherwise what we would call notches on a purchase pattern. It's a, pretty much all the same thing. Now the first thing I want to show you is just standard markings in a armhole area on a blouse. These are the markings that are going to come up once your pattern is generated through Pattern Master Boutique. Here is the front of this blouse. It's just a classic darted blouse. You're going to get a X within a square. That is one notch. Now your circle on the back in the armhole area is a double notch. So it is a cross within a circle. So that's going to be a double notch. It'll be the same on any armhole that you draft. The sleeve is going to be the same. If we go over here to the jacket, your sleeve is going to show you which is the front and which is the back of your sleeve pattern. Now there's these markings are already there. If you wanted ungroup this, if you wanted to put a notch halfway up this, first measure the underarm seam. 17 on that one and 17 on that one. You can locate a midpoint and locate a midpoint. And what I would do is just go in here and then just put a line, just a short line, right click here, draw it out to maybe 0.25, a quarter inch. There's a, there's a notch. Do the same thing on the other side. Right click on that point, draw it out, 0.25. Just remember to let go of everything on your keyboard before you punch in the 0.25. Don't hit click, don't hit enter, don't hit any of that. There's another point on the shoulder seam here. Let's ungroup this. These two markings, you are going to match up. Let me get over this over here. Let's rotate it. And pull him over here. We're going to get in close here. Go out a little bit, and then I'm going to rotate again to match this up. You'll see that the front is a little bit shorter, or excuse me, longer than the back. And that's going to be about half an inch, right, about half an inch shorter. So what's going to happen, let me just undo my moving. What's going to happen in this area, let's ungroup this one, let's locate a midpoint here and locate a midpoint here. Again, just draw a line to indicate. You'll put a little clip there and you'll put a little clip here. Now you're going to match up. You're going to ease in from this point to this point and you'll match up your outside uh, armhole seam and your inner neck curve. But you can match these points up as well so you can get even distribution between these easings. You've already got, like I said, these points matched in the armhole. If you do not have a defined waistline like I do on your garment, so you can tell where my waistline is. Okay, usually if you have a dart in here, this point right here is going to be the center of your dart and your waistline. So look for your darts right here and here where that point is. So if you go a line from here all the way out to this way and then do an intersection, there's your waistline. And then you can break this line here there, and there will be your waistline dart, or notch, I'm sorry, skirts, pants, jumpsuits, 
Skirts, pants, and jumpsuits will always have a mark at your hip line. Here, it's an 8-inch hip drop. So this will be about, well, that's seven and a half. Some of them I haven't adjusted my fit defaults on. So that's a seven and a half inch hip drop. Your point will be placed at your hip line. If I go over to pants, this is the one I haven't edited my fit default on because I don't make too many pants out of this. Fitting pants is difficult. So this is an eight inch hip drop, but still, it places a notch at your hip line. You can go ahead and break this line. Here, and place a notch right here. Same thing with this line. Got to ungroup him. No, that's right. Break him there. And there will be your other notch that you would match up. So you can do it that way. Your darts here are automatic notches. You really don't have to, have to worry too much about notching your waistband. Just notch it here at the center back or the center front, whichever way you're doing it with a jean zipper or in the back. And that would be fine. You could also, on a pair of pants, notch the knees. You could take this and hit break. Break it over here. Break that on out. And there are knee notches right there and do the same over to this side. And that's basically all it is, just figuring out a way that you want to do your notches because you really don't want to cut your notches in the form of a triangle unless you're going around a curve. Then you would probably want to break it up and uh, create them in the form of a triangle to take out some of that excess fabric along that line, that curved area. Let's see, where else? Now we did the knee, and then you would just match up, you know, your hemline here to your waist, to your hip line, and then up to your waistline. You could match the notches at the knees. What else? Jumpsuits. They don't notch at the knee. You'd have to do the same thing, but they do notch at the hip line. Again, you could notch it at the waistline. What else? Blouses. Blouses don't notch at all. The only notch you have is in the armhole area. And what you're going to have to do is to set a notch at your waistline. And it depends on how long you made your blouse, but this one is an 8-inch hip drop, so that hits right at the hip line right there. So you could make a waist notch right there. If you wanted to make a notch here or over here to match up to this area, then what I would do, that's if you take this one and this, 7.323, it should match up to this, 7.327, so that's about the same thing. So you could locate a point from here, three inches, locate another point from here, three inches, and create a notch right there. And you could do the same thing on your hip drop, locate point. High hip for me is 3.75. I can apply that, do the same over here, and then there's another notch, and then you would just have to draw your little lines out from that, or the pattern will draft this point on there. You could just clip it from that area. So that's all there is on making markings. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, or share. Doodles!